Welcome to jobskillshare.org. Today we are going to start part 6 of make your IT job easy with tools. So let's get to the lab. Before I start the lab, uh, I want to mention this that we are going to be creating a basic to advanced troubleshooting course. In that course, this type of scenarios will be covered in detail. So I'm not going to explain things in this video that people might get confused they might not know things so make sure if you're interested in something like this that I'm going to show you today make sure you type a comment in this video and then I will reply back with the link when the course is available so let's get started today I want to discuss something that every Windows environment so this is a server right now we have a CMD you know command prompt and you use it for many other things you know people are using it for system info networking guys use it to test network connections and security guys want to see ports what ports are open things like that anyone can use it depending on what is the scenario so today the video is not about CMD but how to use another uh, you know just a, just a script that you can create for yourself um, and then you can use that um, either remote on a remote machine or on the machine that you're troubleshooting so it could be on a USB that you have uh, and you plug it into that machine and just run it and then you gather all the information or you can run it against the remote machine and then all the information will be returned to some shared folder so today we're going to keep it basic and just to show you how to run this information so all you need is a notepad so open notepad like this so you open it then what you need is something like text like this so for example we have system info right here so if I copy this and I go to CMD it's basically running a command on top of CMD so if I open that right now and I just copy this and and, and just click enter look it's giving me all the system info in this window right now all of that right but I'm not interested in that I want to make sure that I run this and then this needs to be copied somewhere so this is the whole idea of this video but then how do you do that you know what kind of extension do you use to make this work that's what I want to show you guys so first you need to create a folder like I said it can be a share folder or it can be a folder on this machine so I'm just gonna make it uh, debug one okay so this is my my path to uh, this when, when when it runs it needs to save it right here so you see how I did a slash and because I want to name it system info to save my time I didn't type this again but that's all I'm gonna do is to copy and paste in front of these slashes and I'm gonna share that in my description so you guys can do the same thing and in front of this slash right here so let me explain a little bit here uh, let's remove this one also or we can just keep this system info you know it will take all the computer info IP config the other one net assets and route print these are the information that I want in this file so when I run it on this machine I need I will get a big list of text where I can then study it and then see okay this is where the problem is of course you can go to the machine like this and type CMD and and do same commands uh, one by one but that's where it it comes with the main point of this video comes in when it how is it easy then you know why how are you making it easy this is how I'm making it easy that now I have one big list of commands that I know that I use all the time to do troubleshooting I can put it right here and now what I need to do simply I need to save this as all files and now I'm gonna make it dot CMD remember this is the most important thing right here so think of this in your scenario it could be anything it could be you running certain commands in CMD and you like to use that but you didn't know how to you, you you now you know that you can put a CMD right there and now you can run it against any machine and it will return the information to you so to me this is very powerful because now if you have a remote computers like say five or six of them and you want to gather information from them you can actually run it on all top of five machines and it will, it will return the information to your share path so I save the CMD right now see right here we have a debug right there so now what I'm gonna do 
Before I run that, I want to share something else before because you know how these are simple, but the the last one is running actually a program which is msinfo32.exe. It's basically a very big program wherever you have errors and some type of issues in your system, this is where it gets reported. And it's very important in in the beginning maybe you won't understand this, but if you start studying this more, you will know uh, very detailed information about some of the issues that you're having in your system. And you could probably find out that very critical issue that you couldn't figure out with any application, any tools, and now you have it there because this is how you know this is a big text that you're gonna get and now you're studying about it right so I'm gonna go ahead and just run this see what's happening it's it's running the first command and it's putting the output in here it ran the second command it's running the third command and now it's running the application that system uh, msinfo32.exe and it's generating the report for me while this is running think of other scenarios group policy you know you can add a group policy stuff in there like you know you can run a report on a machine that return you know on let's say for example this machine I want any group policy that is applied on this machine you can run that command and then it will return all the group policies so you can find maybe this issue that you're having that you couldn't install the software because somebody put a group policy on this path that this software cannot be installed on this path so see how you can in find information and it could be anything like you know firewall is the firewall on so that's your job you know you need to go to Google and see where what scenario you're in what kind of command you need to use and then use it this way and then when you have all the information when is everything is done you can go to debug and see how I have all the information here so first we ran IP config it gave me the information and the one that I want you guys to focus is on the system info where we ran that little application through that CMD um, command and you can see how much information you get and it'll tell you that what resources your computer are using and is it okay or is it faulty so it's gonna give you that information of course this is a lot of information for beginners to understand even a professional with a lot of experience if they don't have you know their job is not required to do these kind of things they they'll still take the time so I want you guys to go ahead and study this uh, find your programs and things like that and see how they are working um, if you have any issues you will know this from here but the whole point of this is not to show you this system info command it's to show you how to run the CMD like this so you can gather more information from systems so you create your own list you know go around go to Google and see what you can find like I said I shared the group policy one you can find something about firewalls is the firewall on on this machine or not you can find many things like that and put it into this and and create your own troubleshooting list so then you don't have to do this every time you go to the machine type CMD and you do this and uh, you know create a path for it you just have one path and run that on top of the machines or machines and make your life easy. So I'll see you guys in a different video. Thank you.